Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin, and if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. My channel is all about tech, unboxings, reviews, sneakers, just a whole bunch of cool stuff that we take a look at. And today we are looking at a smartphone gimbal. This is one of the top, if not the best gimbal that you can use for a smartphone, and that is the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. Now I got the combo pack. This was actually on Amazon for about $155. It was sold out, but then the price dropped and I got it for about 135 so it's actually a really really good deal now the combo pack basically what you get is a tripod attachment that goes on the bottom but then you also get a little travel case which is nice let's go ahead and unbox it so here we go osmo mobile 3 combo you can see the smartphone that's actually right on the box and then we get the actual gimbal here dgi logo right there you can get their app on google play or on the apple app store then in the box you get six different items the side the bottom the top not much to it. Now let's open it up. So this is the travel case. You can see pretty good quality case overall. You have Osmo and DJI embroidered on the case. Little wrist strap there and then we're gonna open it up and boom there is our gimbal. So we'll take it out here. You get a little silica gel. So overall I'd say the case is actually pretty good. It's a nice little travel size so it will fit really easily in any bag that you have. All of the controls on the actual gimbal itself and then we have some instructions. Really really good premium quality build as well. USB-A, USB-C for charging then we would place the phone right in here the clip is really easy to pull and move and then it's also secure which is nice a lot of other companies will have these and, and they will be either very very loose and then not keep the phone secure which if i'm going to put my phone on here i want it to be secure and i can say this one definitely is the handle has a different texture too so you'll be able to grip onto this really well and not drop it let's see what else is in the box so if i can figure out how to open this guy All right so we got our power cord right here which is USB-C, really good premium quality cord. Another USB-C charger is going to be very, very handy because almost every device I have right now is USB-C besides my phone. Some instructions, then we have a wrist strap as well in case you guys wanna be extra careful with it. Then we have a little pouch too, which can carry some of the accessories and it's actually a pretty decent sized bag and it'll fit in pretty much any bag, just like the actual traveling case. And then last but not least, we have our tripod. So this one actually feels like really good quality as well. And then we have the DJI branding on there too. Open it up and there we go. There's the tripod. And then this will just screw right onto the bottom of the actual gimbal and then we're all set. Now that everything is set up, let's go ahead and put a phone onto the gimbal. We're just gonna line it up with the logo, make sure everything looks good, balance it a little bit better. Then I'm just going to turn it on by holding on the power button and boom, and then boom, portrait mode. If I want to go to landscape, I'm just gonna double click it and then boom, we're in landscape. And you can see how it kind of stabilizes everything already. We are going to test it out and everything as well. You can adjust the camera by just moving around this little toggle. Up, down, left, right. And you can see it's all motorized. So when I'm moving it up and down, everything is moving along with the axis here. And this is going to be awesome for filming vlogs, especially because when I'm holding my camera and everything's bouncy, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot smoother with this. The tripod basically just sits flat. You can't adjust it or anything to be like this. It's just going to fall down and make it flat again. All right, so here's another cool feature which is active tracking so it's going to track my face and you can see the whole Osmo is moving and it's actually going pretty quick I can go down I can go up and it actually tracks very, very quickly. Like I'm going left and right pretty fast here. This will be really good for videos, especially if you're moving around. So for example, if I do a kitchen video and I'm walking over to the right side of the kitchen, then I come to the left, I'll be able to do that without having to switch angles all the time, which will be really, really nice. And the fact that it tracks this quickly is amazing. Now let's go outside and try out the stabilizer and see what kind of smooth footage we can get. So in the first shot here, we're using my iPhone XR and you can see it's kind of swaying up, down, left and right so it's not very stable and then when we switch over to the gimbal right here you can see as I'm moving everything is just a lot more fluent stable and just looks overall a lot better now I'm going to try active tracking on the Osmo and see how stable and smooth everything looks as I'm walking down some stairs outside 
So everything should be looking pretty smooth because everything is being stabilized by an actual motor versus digitally on the actual iPhone. So it should look a little bit smoother than this next clip right now. So now this is handheld. It's going to probably be a bit more shaky. So I'm gonna walk down the stairs and everything and we're just gonna keep walking and talking and this is how I would normally record a vlog and it'd be all jumbled up, messy and really shaky and I think the Osmo footage probably looks a lot better than this. So the footage on that clip there wasn't, I would say, that much different. Now, I don't know if that's because I have like surgeon hands and they just don't shake or anything, but if you guys watch any of my older videos or even on my vlogging channel, which is Austin Meds, then you guys will notice that when I'm filming, it's really, really shaky and the DJI Osmo has really, really helped out and made it a lot smoother. But you could see in the clip, especially when I was going down the stairs, there was a lot of movement on the hand held footage and then with the Osmo it looked a lot better going down the stairs and having that turbulence for the actual camera. So another big feature that I wanted the Osmo for was time lapses to put in vlogs and other future videos and the sky didn't have a lot of clouds so I couldn't make a really cool aerial shot so instead I played with the dog outside. All right so do I think this guy is worth it? Absolutely. Smoothing out your footage and making it look more professional and more cinematic is a huge huge thing to upgrade your filming game and that's something that I really wanted to do and that's why I got this guy. And then the ability to do time lapses and just a whole bunch of other crazy things with this actual gimbal and the software that comes with the DJI app. It's just a no-brainer if you're looking to increase your quality of video on the platform or any other platform really. Once again I paid about $135 for it and by no means was this like a full review. This was more of just like a first thoughts and testing three things that I specifically bought it for which was smoothing out footage time lapse and active tracking and it did all three of those really really well and i'm super excited to be using it for future videos so guys thank you for watching this unboxing and review of the dji osmo 3 combo pack i hope you guys enjoyed the review because i definitely enjoyed making the review for this this is probably one of the most fun reviews that i've ever done on the channel i hope everyone is staying safe and healthy if you guys haven't liked the video and subscribed already i highly recommend to do so because we are blowing the channel up we're at 779 subs right now we'll be at a thousand pretty quick and i'm super excited to see what the future holds my goal for a year from now is to have a full-blown business with my youtube channel and hopefully living in toronto in an apartment i think that would just be awesome and that's my goal and i'm actually going to put time and effort into the channel to get to that point but for now guys i hope you guys enjoyed that video and i will see you guys in the next one